It feels to us like there's something in the air. There's a movement to explore and encourage and advocate for Mormon artists all around the world. Riverside Church is a beautiful place. It also has an important story to tell as far as the way it includes lots and lots of different kinds of people. We thought it would be the perfect venue to show how broad the range of Mormon art can be. Because Riverside Church is sacred space, we wondered how can we bring Mormon art into that conversation? So we've created a space that can be part of that conversation. We can elevate our art and have it be a contemplative thing. One of the challenges of doing a big exhibition in a space like this is we can't hang art on the walls. So this exhibition was created from the ground up as a standalone exhibition with walls that we built just for these four days. The focal point of the entire Mormon Art Center Festival is this amazing exhibition called Immediate Present, curated by Laura Alred Hurtado. It brought together 22 different artists from all over the world. With so many artists in the church to choose from, in all the different disciplines, what we tried to do is show as many and as full a range as possible. This is the first time there's ever been an exhibition like this. really excited about the Mormon Arts Festival and one of the things that I find exciting about it is that it's not about an aesthetic, there's no agenda, it's art, music, literature, everything else by Mormon creators. The Mormon Arts Festival is an exciting opportunity to have so many artists come from around the country. The, the genius of this is that it is finally creating a community a wider community than there has been before. We're so dispersed now, it's good to have a gathering place. Mormonism is always about gathering, and I think that it's important for us to have this sort of a gathering place. When we talk about Mormon art, historically, we think about it as being uplifting, but Mormon art is much, much more than that. When you look at these works, you think a lot of the artist's struggle, their thoughts, what their experience has been in life, which mirrors all of this. If you were to ask somebody, what does Mormon art look like? They would have picture in their mind, but we're here to say the picture is much broader than you know.